This series that I'm calling my sewing room <laughs> and it's basically showing you all the products I use like like last week we did the desk this week we're doing the sewing machine this sewing machine is a Juki 2000 QI pretty popular amongst quilters I use it for piecing and my binding I didn't always use certain machines for certain tasks but I started to um, maybe six, seven years ago, and I've been doing it ever since. I really like that. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that too, but we're gonna talk about all the cool features that this machine does, why I love it so much for piecing. It's usually around $700. Uh, I have links for it on Amazon and on uh, Sewing Machine Plus. I bought sewing machines from both of those places. This one came from Amazon. I have two of them, and um, yeah. So let's let's get to this machine. Let's talk about it. Okay, here she is. Um, a few things before I start talking about the machine. That light is not part of the machine. That's just a little notion that I added. Um, and then uh, you can see that my, uh, my, my Juki is sitting inside my tabletop. It actually comes with a very large tray that is bigger than this acrylic top. Um, the tray is, I don't know, I want to say maybe maybe an inch or two bigger than that. Uh, so it comes with this really, really nice flat surface. So if you're used to one of those smaller tabletop machines, this thing is probably twice the size of anything I've ever had before. Um, there's probably some really fancy machines that have tabletops just as big, but um, this one actually comes with it too. So. All right, so first things first, this is probably what you would call a mid-level machine. It's about middle of the price point, um, and it is probably not what you would buy as your first sewing machine because it is mid price. It's usually about $700. Um, you probably, want, if you want to start on a much cheaper machine, just to make sure that you do enjoy sewing and quilting before you splurge and get this guy. Um, definitely not top level machine, but in my opinion, when it comes to piecing, it does this better than any top level machine that you're gonna you're gonna find. And, I mean, I had that uh, Bernina 550. That machine cost me thirty five hundred dollars, and I chose to piece on this one. So I'm um, I'm speaking from my own experiences and my own opinions. Um, it doesn't get better than piecing than this guy. All right, so let's go through why I like it so much. Um, the first thing uh, that I would tell you it, that the best thing about this is, is speed. It can stitch 1,500 stitches per minute. Do I use 1,500? Probably not, but if you ever go from one that can do it to one that can't do it, it's a little stifling. Um, I, I, did, I, I never thought that my piecing on my other machines was slow until I got this guy. And then it was like, you, you get spooled and you can't go back. So the number one thing that it does the best is its speed. The second thing that is my personal favorite is the automatic thread cutter. And I'm not talking about that right there. I'm talking about this down here. So you, you know, you put your foot on the pedal and you're sewing like this and you want to cut your thread boom thread cut i'm going to give you a little demonstration of that too so that is my second favorite thing of that thread cutter i don't know why that is not on all machines it's so handy and uh you know it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to go back once you've used some of these really cool features and you're wondering well, why does this really cool machine not have this really cool feature um so that's the second favorite thing third favorite thing is just the body shape um and i i don't know why i get caught up on something like body shape but this thing is sleek okay i mean look how narrow that is there's not bulk where bulk doesn't need to be it's also completely all metal it's slender uh i just want to i just it's just really really sleek I mean, I absolutely love it. The throat size is a little bit more than eight inches. So if you're planning on using this for free motion, this thing can handle it. Not only is it fast, it can handle it that way, but it can handle your throat too, because you could, you could fit a king quill under here just fine. And don't tell me you can't because I have done it many a times. So third and fourth thing is sleekness and the body shape. I absolutely love it. Fifth thing is the knee lift and um yeah a lot of machines have this this but this was my first machine that had a knee lift 
and that's pretty nifty. That little knee lift is just going to spoil you. Again, that's something that a lot of machines have, but I really just like it so much. Oh, let's, let's talk about the, I guess you want to call them the cons of the machine. I can only find two things that somebody could fuss about. I'm not personally fussing about them. There's nothing to complain about this machine for me. I love it that much. I have, I find no faults in it. But if you're coming from a computerized machine to this machine, which is a manual, by the way, you might find it a little bit fussy about the tension because it doesn't automatically adjust your tension based on what thread you're using, based on what needle you use, like some machines can. This thing is a manual. So every time I change my thread to a different weight, I've got to come over here and adjust my tension. If I'm free motion quilting, I've got to come over here and adjust my tension. Now, I am pretty used to it where it doesn't bother me at all, but... I've had a pe I've had a few people that I recommended the machine to, and they were they would get caught up in changing that tension. But it does take a amount a little bit amount of time to get it accurate. It didn't come factory ready, like to start sewing. I had to adjust that tension, and I just turned this dial uh, just a smidgen, sew a little. If it's not working, keep going until you finally get it right. And this is going to be something you do with every 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 thread change, pretty much. Um, I piece with um, 50 weight, so that's usually what I've got in it. The, another con would be for you to spend $700 on a machine and it only do straight stitches. That's right. It has no zigzag. It has no decorative. This thing can only straight stitch. I tell you that it does that extremely well, but you may want to have, you know, a smaller machine that can zigzag in case you use that um, I, I basically only quilt, so I don't ever use decorative stitches. I mean, I've only used the zigzag stitch a handful of times, and I have another machine that I do that on. All right, so those are the only cons I can find. I really just can't find anything else. Um, let's just go over the machine. This is where you drop your feed dog. This is your, um, your back space. You can hold this down. And your needle be needle will stay in the down position, and you can hold it down, and your needle stay in the upper up position. It also moves it up and down. Um, I keep my needle in the up position. This changes your tension. Uh, it comes with a, this one fifth inch foot. A one fifth inch foot is a scant quarter inch foot. So I can use this when I need to use a scant quarter inch I can just use this as my guide um, if I'm not wanting to use scant of course I have to use mm, the line here um, the bobbin is in here it might be a little dirty <laughs> we won't look in there but that's how you do the bobbin um, this is my thread for my top thread this is my thread for my bobbin thread you can see I've got a lot going on here. This took a little bit of getting used to. I wasn't used to having all that, but I actually really like it now. Um, there's my bobbin. I always keep one wound up, and um, I don't really use this wheel, but you know, it turns the needle up and down like they all do, and um, this changes the pressure of the foot, so I've, I've never really messed with that either, but that's what it does. It's pretty easy uh, to thread. It goes through these guys down here, around, back down here, up, around, down, 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 and into the needle. So pretty easy to uh, thread. Let me think if there's anything else about it. I don't think there is, but I do want to give you a little demonstration. So let me, uh, let me do that. Do a little sewing. I'm going to show you how fluid this machine is. I got me some scraps. And what I want to um, really emphasize here is how it maneuvers from task to task. So I'm gonna show you um, my biggest complaint about computerized machines. Yeah, they're fancy, they look great. Um, but my complaint is, is the speed at which you have to take to do things. If you put your needle down, there's a pause. If you backspace, there's a pause. That is my biggest gripe on computerized machines. I'm not sure that they all do it, but I'm, I've used enough of them to make myself crazy. So um, I want you to pay attention to how we can go from ta from sewing to backspace to sewing uh, to cutting our thread and to you know lifting it out and getting the piece out of there. So here we go. Backspace, go, backspace, go. 
boom, done. You see that workflow of that is just a thousand times better than my previous machine, which was a very expensive machine, by the way. I just can't put enough emphasis on the workflow that this thing can handle and how there's no pausing, no waiting for your machine to catch up for you. Boom, 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 boom. It's there. All right, so that is going to wrap up this video. Um, I think I've got everything talked about, but if you think I've missed something or if you have questions, don't hesitate to re reach out. I am usually pretty good about answering my emails and my comments. I would encourage you to always buy your machines locally when you can. I happen to just live out in the middle of nowhere, so I usually buy everything online. But a local person can help you learn how to work the machine, how to set everything up and all that stuff and, and give you a little bit of a better look at learning how to do that tension because that is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, so that's it for this video. I, I will be back next time with the My Sewing Room series and we're going to look at my ironing station. So I will see you then. Thank you.